It's radio time again with something I knew I had to have when I saw it on eBay because it has such an ominous Chinese Cold War era appearance. It's the Hong Deng HD753F radio, better known as the Red Lantern, which is at odds with the name of the eBay seller it comes from, Happy Home 2019. But it's not that cheap. It costs $39.59 with free shipping from China. And it comes in this ornately decorated box. All the writing is in Chinese except for the name and model number. It doesn't really say anything else about the radio on the box. And inside the box you get the radio itself. You get a power supply and a small owner's manual which is also no use to me because it's entirely in Chinese. As is all of the writing on the radio itself except for Red Lantern. For all I know, this could be saying buying this radio officially makes you a member of the CCP. So it's just a basic AM FM radio, no short wave. There's the built-in speaker with the very 1960s era styling. On the back it has this fancy textured molding and there's the band switch on the back. There's a earphone output and a 3 volt DC power input. More writing in Chinese. And there's the battery compartment. It can run on either a single 18650 lithium cell or two D cell batteries which I'll use because I don't have any 18650s on hand. But those D batteries should last a good long time. You could run it on the provided power adapter, although I think it would tend to cause radio interference on AM because this is one of those cheap and not very well shielded switching mode power supplies. On the back is also a telescoping antenna for FM. The AM antenna is built in. And for a size comparison, there it is next to the Indian made 5 core radio, which I did several videos about. So here we go with the Red Lantern. I almost expect to hear a speech from Chairman Mao when I turn it on. But instead we got Dion Warwick. That's a fairly weak station so it has pretty good reception. Although by that choppiness when I tune it, it's obvious that this uses a digital signal processor. The sound quality is not that great from the built-in speaker, but it's not terrible either. I've always loved your drive. You're rolling along and everything's great. But when you struggle just a little bit, you can fall. That's the Sports Talk Station on 98.7 FM. And the dial calibration is a little bit shifted up because you can see it's almost showing 100 megahertz on the dial. The team, it shows, and it's showing... It's a little bit hissy and choppy, but that's actually a station from Maryland. And I'm here in New Jersey, probably about 150 miles away. So we must be getting some tropospheric ducting tonight on FM, which is long distance reception within several hundred miles, usually occurring during warm summer evenings. And it is definitely one of those today. The best mix of classical music. Get your daily playlist when you become a member at WQXR.org. Here's Edward Elgar's Wand of Youth Suite Number 1, Brighton Thompson conducting the Ulster Orchestra. Now here is AM, or what it calls medium wave. In 28 different countries worldwide. What kind of feedback have you been receiving from your patients? Patients are loving their new beautiful... It's rather muffled sounding. Surgery. Entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. It wouldn't be AM without the preachers. 
Oh, and that station just went off the air because it's 8.30 and they're only licensed to operate during the daytime. They're supposed to give an announcement before they sign off, but they just shut off the transmitter. I can't pick up any stations in Chinese, but that was a soap opera in Korean. I just connected the power supply and I'm glad I checked this with my multimeter because it's not only putting out 5 volts on the terminals of the 18650 cell, it's also putting out 5 volts on the terminals of the D cell batteries. So if you're going to connect the power supply, you better not leave non-rechargeable D cell batteries in this thing. And just as I suspected that switching the power supply causes too much interference to be usable on AM. even causes interference on FM. In the first video I did about the Indian-made 5-core radio, I got so many people asking me to take it apart, I had to do a follow-up video showing the inside, so I won't make that mistake again. But unfortunately, there's no big surprises in here, just a very bare-looking circuit board, because the integrated circuits are on the other side. There's the AM loopstick coil antenna, just as I suspected, it uses a variable resistor to do the tuning instead of a variable capacitor. There's a volume control, a couple other capacitors, and a crystal on the back there. It has a 3-inch, 8-ohm, 3-watt speaker with a fairly large magnet on it. I don't want to take out this circuit board because then I would probably have to restring the dial cord. But it's just going to have one DSP chip that does all the radio functions and one audio amplifier chip. And that's about it these days for these digital based radio tuners. And I will say the build quality is quite a bit higher than that Indian made 5 core radio. The plastic molding is much higher quality. And all the wires have plugs on them. Even on this little circuit board here. As you might expect, the headphone output is only mono on FM, but it actually sounds pretty good. We've only touched on some of the intriguing music to be found on the Earth's most massive continent, Asia. Though it's comprised of thousands of different cultures, Asia as a whole is a growing powerhouse of economic influence. And Asian music, too, is expanding its influence around the world. So that's it for the Hong Deng HD753F Red Lantern Radio. There's no real reason to buy one of these. I mean, it's just a cheap plastic AM FM radio. Doesn't sound that great. Reception is okay, but not that great. I was just attracted to its very ominous 1960s Cold War Red Scare appearance. This has to be the most Chinese looking Chinese made product I've ever seen because instead of trying to hide where it came from it proudly proclaims it right on the front panel here. Even the markings for the volume and tuning dials are in Chinese. They really went all out with this look including that logo on the speaker and of course the Red Lantern logo on the dial.